Let's chat about the difference between the palette numero un and the un nano. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Celesta. I talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. As you guys know, we are a Palen Stan account here. I have pretty much most of their styles. They have all of these different colors. If you haven't seen the full review video, I'll leave it here. Um, there is a part one and part two. So go check it out if you wanna see like a full review. Today we're talking specifically about the Palette Numero Un and the Nano size. We're doing a size comparison. We're talking about what fits in each of the bags and of course how it styles and how it fits on me. Without further ado, let's get into it. So just a quick intro on each of these bags. This is the regular size in the terracotta color. Um, they're suede up here in the top part. Um, this bag is actually on its way to one of my best friends now. Um, this was gifted to me um, and totally caught me by surprise. And um, honestly, I just know that I will not have use for this. So we're sending it off to my best friend. Um, this has been in my collection for quite a few months at this point. This is the nano size in the nude color. I use this all the time. I absolutely love it. And it's one of my only light pink bags. Um, I really like it. And I feel like it is big enough for everything that I need. Um, but when you guys see the what fits in the bag, this one fits a lot and it does get really heavy. So let's start with the dimensions. This is the nano size in the color nude. As I said earlier, it measures out by 20.5 by 17 by 9 cm or eight by 6.7 by 3.5 inches. One of my favorite things about this bag is the very adjustable strap. There's a 23 inch strap drop, um, but given all of the holes, it is very adjustable. It does also have a cotton lining with one interior pocket and one back pocket. There's also these quote unquote buttons that you can use to expand the bag. Um, and there are two on the nano size. This allows you to fit way more into this bag, especially if you needed to. As we mentioned earlier, there is a back pocket, which I rarely use, and there are four feet at the bottom of this bag. Moving on to the regular size, this is in terracotta, as I mentioned earlier, it is in grain calfskin leather, and there is suede on the flap. It measures out to 32 by 16.5 by 23 centimeters, or approximately 12.5 by 6.5 by 9 inches. For the regular size, there's also the same quote unquote buttons that help you expand the bag. And instead of two, there's actually four. So you're able to expand the bag quite a lot if you need to fit more things into it. Same with the nano size, there is one back pocket and a very, very adjustable strap. Again, the strap drop is 23 inches. However, you can adjust it to however you see fit. This bag also has an additional feet at the bottom. So there's five feet instead of the nano size, which only has four, which can better support the bag. So I know this is a little overwhelming, but this is gonna be everything we're able to squeeze into the bag. There's gonna be laptops, full-size wallets, books, iPads, card holders, makeup, things like that. So obviously it makes the most sense to put all of the cosmetics into the cosmetic pouch first. Honestly, I don't carry around this much stuff, but for the sake of this video, this is what we're doing. Eyelash glue is a must. Um, this is the Rare Beauty Concealer, a beauty sponge, um, some chapstick, a lip glow oil, and of course some mascara. Um, sunscreen is also a necessity and a hair tie. Okay, so let's start with the nano size. So obviously open up the snap closure so you can get a better look at what's inside of the bag. A full size wallet does kind of fit in here, but I don't really like to jam my stuff into the bag. A book obviously doesn't fit. Same thing with an iPad. Um, however, a water bottle does fit inside of here. I don't usually use this, but for the sake of this video, this is what's gonna go inside. A key pouch and my keys, of course, and there is a little bit of space left um, which you can throw in some hand sanitizer, snap this baby back up, and then close the bag. Instead of the water bottle, you could fit a cosmetic pouch, which I've done here. It does take up a little bit more space, so you're really just left with like hand sanitizer and maybe a card holder. However you see fit, it does fit in this bag. So moving on to the regular size, she is significantly bigger than the Nano. A MacBook does not fit in here. This is a 13 inch MacBook. However, an iPad does. So the regular iPad 8, I think, a book also fully fits in here. Um, 
a water bottle of course so there's still plenty of space um so a full-size wallet we're able to squeeze some sunglasses i feel like i have to be a little bit strategic in terms of the placement but everything does fit the cosmetics pouch hand cream um our key pouch and our keys a card holder um and of course hand sanitizer and you can just snap this baby back up and everything does fit so let's start with how the Palen Numero Un Nano Size fits on me. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, which I usually love to do. The strap is very adjustable. You can wear it as a crossbody, as you can see here. I prefer my crossbodies to hang a little bit higher on my body, if that makes sense. Last but not least, you can definitely wear this as a top handle. However, if you're wearing like a thicker sweater or jacket, you probably can't squeeze your wrist in the, in the hole, but you can still carry it like on your hands. Moving on to the regular size, um, you can see it's significantly bigger than the Nano. This is how it fits as a shoulder bag. I feel like in my opinion, it's a little bit too big on me, especially wearing it as a crossbody like this. However, if you need to carry a bunch of stuff, this is, this is the bag I would take. You can also very comfortably wear this as a top handle bag compared to the Nano size, it is a little bit smaller, but this is perfect as a top handle and probably how I would wear this bag. So that sums it up for this video. I hope this was helpful for you, especially if you're deciding between the regular size or the Nano, which one would fit your lifestyle better, which fits more, things like that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which size you prefer more. I'll leave another video for you guys linked here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.